The Hydrogen Energy California plant essentially combines all of these. So essentially it takes the fuel, gasifies it, turns it into hydrogen, separates the CO2 and compresses it for injection, and then uh, produces both these fertilizer products as well as electricity. And the total annual emissions are about 350,000 tons of CO2. So it's a savings, a greenhouse gas reduction uh, of something like one and a half to two million tons of CO2 a year. This is a huge difference. And, you know, people often forget the industrial side of our country. But this is not only important for our country, but also for the world. Solving the industrial sector <coughs> emissions problem is, is really, I think, in some ways the hardest part of the CO2 problem. And um, uh, this essentially does that, but also provides low carbon power that's dispatchable. Because the nice thing about this plant is that it can actually vary the amount of fertilizer and power produced so that when the wind is not blowing or the sun is not shining, the power output can be increased. But when power demand is low, when it's blowing or it's the middle of the night and nobody needs the power, you can switch towards more fertilizer and still use that investment efficiently, which ultimately makes the power and the fertilizer cheaper for everyone. Right? That's really what's important. 